Hi, do you want to know more about prefixes to have your basic set? Don't worry, I got you covered. This is Surya Johnson, your medical coding guide. In my last video, I strongly recommended you all to be strong in your basics so you can stand for a very long time and become a successful medical coder and ladder up high above all other medical coders, right? So we'll discuss more about the prefixes that we spoke about last week. So the first one, prefixes pertaining to location, we should know this con concept because without these prefixes, you will not understand where the exact problem is, is it inside, outside or around, all those things, right? So we'll learn about that. The first one is intra. Intra means inside or within. So for example, intra-abdominal, it means inside the abdomen. You got it? The second one is endo. Endo is also a prefix means within or inside, the same as intra. Example is endometritis. Endo is a word which means inside the uterus. So the third one is peri. Peri is a prefix which means around or surrounding. Example pericarditis. So in this peri means inflammation around the heart. Fourth one ek and ecto. These are prefixes which mean out or outside. So for example, an ectopic pregnancy means a pregnancy which occurs outside the uterine cavity. Number five, M and N, E-M and E-N, M and N. These are prefixes which means within or inside, similar to the intra and endo. Example, M pima. That means pass within a body cavity. Number six, retro and post. So these are prefixes which means behind. So retrocardial means located behind the heart. And for post example, we'll have post nasal. It means situated behind the nose. Number seven, the prefixes sub and hypo means under. Example, subcutaneous, it means under the skin. And for example, for hypo, hypodermic needle. It means that needle that is inserted under the skin. Number eight, inter. Inter means between. So example, intercostal muscle. So intercostal muscle means muscles which are between the ribs. So we saw about the prefixes pertaining to the location before, after, behind, next to, around and all these things, right? So if you can understand the meaning of the prefix pertaining to locations and whenever you just see a medical terminology and you can easily understand whether this is inside, outside, around, behind or before, which will be easy for you to derive the medical codes. Now we will move on to prefixes pertaining to time. First one, anti. Anti means before. So for example, antipartum means before childbirth. Second one in that, pre. Pre means also before. So for example, a preoperative medication. That is a medication which is given before the surgery. Number two, the prefix post means after. So for example, a post-operative complication is a complication which occurred after the surgery. We'll move on to the next one, prefixes pertaining to negation. Negation means denial of something. You say no or you disapprove that one. Number one, the prefixes a or an mean without or absence of. For example, a febrile means without or absence of fever. Febrile means fever. So a febrile means without fever. Anesthesia means without or absence of feeling or sensation. So if they give anesthesia, right? It means they don't feel that sensation. They don't have that feeling without or absence of feeling or sensation. Number two, the prefix anti means 
against so example antitoxin means against toxin or against poison so the next one is prefixes pertaining to amount or comparison you know comparing each or the amount first one is uni and mono uni and mono means one or single example monocyte it means single cell second one by so you already know right by is a prefix indicating number two for example bilateral it means two sides number three the prefix for three is tri tri example the valve in the heart which has three parts is called the tricuspid valve so tricuspid valve means it has three parts number four quadri means four so a person with quadriplegia means he has paralysis or he or she has paralysis in all four limbs fifth one the prefix is multi and poly it means many or much example a person with polyneuritis has inflammation of many nerves number six the prefix is hemi or semi hemi and semi means half example a person with hemiplegia has paralysis on one half of the body so a person with semi conscious is half conscious you're right number seven the prefix hypo also means too little or low example a person with hypotension means he has low blood pressure number eight hyper is a prefix that is just the opposite of hypo hyper means above or high a person with hypertension means his blood pressure was above the normal or high blood pressure number nine the prefix for fast or rapid is tachy tachy so a person with tachycardia means he has an abnormally fast heartbeat so the prefix for slow is brady a person with bradycardia has an abnormally slow heartbeat number 11 the prefix for little or scanty is oligo example oliguria it means little or scanty urine now we will move on to prefixes pertaining to color so number 1 leuco means white example a leucocyte refers to white blood cells number 2 erythro it means red so erythrocyte refers to red blood cell number 3 cyano means it's blue so example cyanosis refers to a bluish condition of the skin number 4 melano it means dark or black so melanoma means a dark tumor we'll see next about the prefixes pertaining to size and position number 1 micro it means very small for example a microcyte means a small cell number 2 macro is a prefix which is opposite to micro it is very large or large for example macrocyte it means a large cell mega is also a prefix which means large example a mega colon is an abnormally large colon so the next prefix that indicates the position first one is antero it means the front part of the body second prefix latero it means the side part of the body so when there is an x-ray view of antero lateral it means the view is situated in front of and to one side dextro means right right side so dextrocardia for example means having the heart on the right side of the body so the next one levo is a prefix means left side for example levo version is a term which means the act of turning to the left 
medio the next one is medio as a prefix meaning middle so the medial part of the body means pertaining to the middle part of the body we'll see other miscellaneous prefixes that do not fit into all those separate categories first example hydro hydro means water for example hydrophobia it means fear of water this dis this is a prefix meaning difficult or painful a patient with dyspnea means he is experiencing difficulty in breathing next one nox or noct these are prefixes meaning night example nocturia it means urination during the night the next one is mal it is a prefix meaning bad for example mal odorous it means a bad odor smell the next one is pan pan is a prefix meaning total or all example a pan hysterectomy so it means the total hysterectomy hi now you have an idea about the prefixes right if you can just memorize all those things or by heart yes i suggest you to by heart this not the coding books if you can memorize or have it in heart you know this will be very much useful for you to easily understand the medical terminologies and that would be really helpful to derive the correct code can we have some assessment i'll just give some few questions let's see what does the prefix sub mean very good what is the prefix bradi in bradycardia means correct what is the prefix hydro in the word hydrophobia means wow that was easy <laughs> next what is the prefix tachy in the word tachycardia means absolutely right what is the prefix an in the word anesthesia means correct again so what is the prefix oligo in the word oliguria means perfect what is the prefix dextro in the word dextrocardia means oh you just knocked it out of the park what is the prefix m in the word empyma means wonderful <laughs> you all really did a great job those who cannot answer it correctly no worries just go through this video again and you learn it quickly if you find this video to be useful please hit the like button and share it with your friends that will really mean a lot to me and in future video we will say about the suffixes term in the medical terminologies so you can easily understand like you did the prefixes if you have not subscribed yet please subscribe and hit the notification bell icon this is ria johnson your medical coding guide